the project management certification tier list. This is what you've all been asking for. Today, I'm gonna to be ranking project management certifications from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And I'm gonna be giving my rationale for why I'm ranking them that way. And this is gonna be based off of my experience, the experience of students and clients that I've worked with, me asking questions to people who are experts on this, and extensive research. But at the end of the day, this is just my opinion, so make sure you do your own research as well. But with that being said, let's jump into it with the first one on the list, which is going to be the APM Project Management Qualification. Now, this one is valuable in the UK, but it's less recognized globally. So if you're in the UK, this one could be really good for you. And by the way, the APM stands for Association of Project Management. Now, when it comes to prerequisites, you don't necessarily need any for this, but some experience or prior learning is recommended. It also never expires, so that's nice. And the APM is the chartered body for the project management profession in the UK. So for all of those reasons, for the average person out there, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a D tier ranking. However, if you are in the UK, this one can be really good. Next is going to be the BV. OP Certified Project Manager. And this is a newer certification which focuses on value-oriented practices, and it's really gaining a lot of recognition. Now, this one is offered by the Business Value-Oriented Principles Institute, and it combines traditional, agile, and behavioral practices. Now, for this one, there's an online proctored exam, and there's no course requirements. It also does have lifetime validity, so it's not one of those that you have to renew all the time. And the biggest thing about this one is that it emphasizes business value creation and project management practices, because it's very easy when it comes to organization and management to do a lot of things, but those things aren't necessarily moving the needle forward. So I do like this one. It is a newcomer, so it's not as well established. It may not be recognized as well as many of the other ones on the list, but I actually really do like the value that it teaches. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one into C tier. Now, if you're ready to make your next career move with confidence, check out Coursera Plus Monthly. Whether you're starting a new career in a high growth field like cybersecurity, data analytics, and more, Coursera Plus gives you the freedom to explore. And for just $59 a month, you'll get unlimited access to over 6,100 courses, including professional certificates from industry leaders like Google and Meta. Plus, you'll work on job-relevant skills with hands-on labs and applied projects from real-world experts. So if you're planning to take multiple courses this year, this is a great way to save while you learn. Start earning unlimited certificates today by clicking the link in the description and the pinned comment below. Next is going to be the CAPM, which is the Certified Associate in Project Management. Now, this one is an excellent entry-level certification for those starting in project management. And it's offered by PMI, which is the same organization as PMP. Now, it requires 23 hours of project management education, and it's a really good stepping stone for the PMP. Now, an interesting fact here is the CAPM is ideal for project team members looking to validate their project knowledge. Now, this one is valid for three years, which means you'll have to renew it, which really does suck, but it kind kind of does make sense when it comes to project management because there's always new stuff popping up. So I can kind of give them a pass on that. And PMI is a very respected organization. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one into A tier and it's S tier if you're a beginner. Next is going to be the Certified Project Director or CPD. Now this one is less recognized and it may not provide as much value as other certifications. It's also offered by the Global Association for Quality Management and it focuses on senior level project management skills. So it requires five years of experience and it's only valuable for three years. Now, this one is actually part of a series that includes certified project manager and certified senior project manager certifications. And yeah, it's just not that well recognized and it probably doesn't provide as much value as the other certifications. Not that the information itself isn't good. It may be really good information for the right type of person. But overall, like the two big things that you wanna consider when it comes to these is one, how recognized is it? That's incredibly important. And then two, how good is the certification and how valuable are the skills that you're learning in the certification itself. And for this one, uh, something has to go into F tier. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into F tier. Next is gonna be the Certified Project Manager. And this one is IAPM, which is the International Association of Project Managers. Now this one is less known globally, but it does provide a solid foundation in project management and it's available at different levels. So you've got your Certified Junior Project Manager, your Certified Project Manager, and then your Certified Senior Project Manager. Now there's no mandatory training courses. It does have lifetime 
validity, which is really nice. Now, one thing I do like about this one is they do offer a free self-test to help candidates assess their readiness for certification. So which one you're ready for, the, the junior, the normal one, or the senior. But this one is just less known globally, and so it's not going to be really recognized by hiring managers and business owners. And so for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and put it into D tier. Next is going to be the Certified Scrum Master or CSM certification. And this one is essential for agile project environments, which are increasingly common. So basically, agile and scrum are methodologies that a lot of businesses use out there. And these are methodologies that businesses use at various different sizes. And this one actually requires attendance at a two day course, and you have to pass an exam. And another thing is there's no experience prerequisites. However, it's only valid for two years. Now, this one absolutely does get the attention of hiring managers, business owners, you know, recruiters, etc. people who would actually be the decision makers when it comes to you getting hired. I don't like the fact that you have to get it updated every two years, but this is absolutely one of the most popular agile certifications. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one into A tier. Next is the CompTIA Project Plus. And CompTIA is extremely popular when it comes to IT and cybersecurity. But as you can see, they've also gotten into project management as well. And this is a pretty good entry level certification, especially for those in IT specific project management. Now there's no prerequisites for this one and it covers basic project management concepts. It also never expires, which is really nice. Plus this certification is actually recognized by the US Department of Defense. So if you're trying to get a government job, this one might be a really good one to get. And yeah, overall, this one is extremely solid. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into B tier. Next is the CPMP, which is the Certified Project Management Practitioner. And this one is offered by the EC Council. So this one does provide a solid foundation. I think the information inside of it is really good from all the reviews that I've seen online and the people that have asked. However, it is less recognized, which means, you know, I really have to dock it for that reason. And in many cases, these certificates and certifications, it is kind of a popularity contest, I have to admit. Basically, the more real estate that these certs have in the brains of recruiters, hiring managers, and business owners, the better they are, essentially. So the, some of these certifications are amazing when it comes to the training, but unfortunately, hiring managers, etc., just don't know about them. Now, this one focuses on practical skills and knowledge. It does not have any prerequisites, and it's valid for three years. Now, the EC Council is better known for their cybersecurity certifications, so this is a bit of a unique offering from them. But overall, I think they did a great job with it. It's just not that well recognized at this point, so I'm going to put it into C tier, but this could change. Next is going to be the Google Project Management Certificate. Now, this one isn't a certification. There is a difference between a certification and a certificate. However, I still decided to include it because of the fact that they are incredibly popular. And this is new, but increasingly recognized, especially for digital and tech projects. Now, this one is offered through Coursera, and I believe this is absolutely, without a doubt, the best cert for you to take as a beginner, because it covers both traditional and agile approaches. Now, they say that it can be completed in about six months with part-time study, but realistically, this one you can absolutely get done in a month or two max. And the cool thing is Google actually partners with various companies to consider certificate graduates for entry-level positions. And the entire reason why Coursera and Google and all these other companies like IBM and Meta started making these professional certificates is because they could not find enough people that have the skills that they were looking for. So they literally tell you exactly what they're looking for with these certs. And if you look online, Coursera and these Google certifications have unbelievably good reviews. And on top of that, these are super affordable. They only cost like 40 or 50 bucks per month. And if you finish it in a month, that means it only costs you like 40 or $50. So from a value perspective, these ones are unbelievably good. I have to give this one S tier. And by the way, if you're a complete newbie, this is the one that I recommend starting out with. And I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below so you can check it out. Next is going to be the MPM or Master of Project Management. And this one is offered by AAPM. And that's the American Academy of Project Management. Now, this one is less widely recognized than some of the top tier certifications, but it's still valuable. And there's some companies that swear by it. So this one requires three years of project management experience or training, and it covers various project management methodologies. And it's also valid for two years. Now, an interesting fact about this one is it's actually recognized in over 150 countries and it's NATO approved. So this one's pretty hardcore. And there's some business owners and hiring managers out there where if they see you have this on your resume, they're going to be really impressed. But the truth is not a lot of people know about it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next is going to be the PMI Agile Certified Practitioner or the PMI ACP. And this one is really good. It is highly valued for its comprehensive coverage of agile practices, which are increasingly important in modern project management. Now, this one requires 2000 hours of general project experience, 1500 hours of agile project teams, 
and 21 contact hours of Agile training. It also covers multiple Agile methodologies, not just Scrum. Now it's valid for three years. It requires 30 PDUs and Agile topics to maintain. And this is actually PMI's fastest growing certification. This one is highly respected, highly recognized, and it's good training. So if you're someone who's already in project management, this one is pretty much the gold standard. I'm gonna go ahead and give it S tier. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're in project management or you're trying to get into project management and maybe you agree with some of these or you disagree with some of these, please share your opinions in the comment section down below. And then you guys can debate back and forth and we can all learn something from it. For instance, some of these are really good in certain countries, but not as good in other countries. So there's all kinds of little nuances here that I can't go over in a single video. So please make sure you go over this down in the comment section below. Next is going to be the Prince2 Practitioner. And this one is highly respected, especially in the UK and Europe. And it focuses on practical application. Now this one has a process-based approach to project management and it requires passing the Prince2 Foundation exam first. The practitioner level focuses on applying the method to real scenarios. And this one is valid for three years. Now, an interesting fact is this one is used by the UN and many government bodies worldwide, which could be a good thing or a bad thing considering governments are extremely inefficient, generally speaking. But yeah, not going to let my biases get in the way here. Overall, it is very highly respected. I'm giving this one A tier status. Next is going to be the professional scrum master or PSM. Now, this is a rigorous assessment of scrum knowledge without mandatory course attendance, and it's offered by scrum.org. Now, there's no prerequisites or required courses, there's lifetime validity with no renewal needed, and there's three levels to this one with increasing difficulty. So there's the PSM 1, 2, and 3. Now, PSM was created by Ken Schwaber, who is the co-creator of Scrum. So this one is definitely recognized by hiring managers, business owners, etc. I'm going to go ahead and put this one into A tier status. All right, next we're going to get into an absolutely legendary certification, and that is the PMP or Project Management Professional. And this one is basically widely recognized as the gold standard in project management certifications. And of course, it is offered by PMI. Now it requires 35 hours of project management education and significant project management experience. Experience. It also covers predictive, agile, and hybrid approaches. Now, this one is valid for three years, so you have to renew it every three years, which sucks, and it requires 60 professional development units, or PDUs, in order to maintain. Now, an interesting fact here is PMP certified project managers often earn 20% more than non-certified peers. So this one is highly respected by hiring managers, business owners, and you may even get a 20% raise for getting it. Plus, according to the reviews, it does actually teach you really good stuff too. So this one, absolutely, without a doubt, goes into S tier. Now, like I said, overall, guys, if you're a beginner, which a lot of people watching this are probably beginners, it's absolutely a no brainer to take the Google Project Management Professional Certificate. That's going to give you a really good idea of what companies actually want, because it's literally the companies putting it out, like they're telling you exactly the skills they want you to know. But some of these other certifications are going to be really good down the line as well. And like I said, this is just my opinion. So I'd love to get your guys' feedback on this. And also, if you're interested in other careers and other certs, go ahead and check out the Google Certificate tier list, which I did right here.